Hello, and welcome to the Rack and Strength and Fitness Podcast. Today, I would like to talk about an upper body exercise that I know people love, but I don't think necessarily understand how to properly execute. That exercise is the lateral raise. It seems simple enough, and for the most part, it is pretty simple to execute. However, without taking the time to properly understand or learn the technique, it's very easy to get wrong. Let's take a look. The lateral raise is a shoulder exercise designed to train the deltoids, more specifically the middle or lateral deltoid. The middle deltoid originates on the lateral portion of the acromion process of the scapula and inserts with the other two heads of the deltoid into the deltoid tuberosity on the humerus. Its main function is to abduct or raise the shoulder when the arm is medially rotated. It also assists in shoulder transverse abduction which is a lateral movement along the horizontal plane that moves the arm away from the body. As I stated before, the lateral raise is a pretty simple movement once one takes the time to learn its proper execution. Most people just want to grab a pair of dumbbells or cables and start lifting away, leading the movement with their hand. This actually better emphasizes the anterior deltoid and defeats the purpose of trying to isolate the middle delt. Instead, keep your forearm in a pronated position throughout the movement and imagine that you're trying to lead the exercise with your elbow. By doing this, you're allowing the middle delt to be the main agonist of the movement and at the top of the movement, your elbow should still remain slightly higher than your hand. Make sure you have plenty of space around you so you don't accidentally hit and or injure yourself or someone else. Using a lighter dumbbell, set up with a slight bend in the hips and your elbows bent at a comfortable angle. This may differ slightly for each person. Again, we want to raise the dumbbell by driving our elbow toward the ceiling, not our hand. Don't force your shoulder into more abduction than is comfortable. Your upper arm should go no farther than about 90 degrees to the rest of your body, and generally a little less than that is enough to give a full range of motion contraction. Dumbbells are by far the most popular version due to their availability in the gym, but lateral raises can also be performed with cables, bands, and some gyms may even have machine lateral raises, you can perform this exercise isolaterally or bilaterally, and if you choose, you can also increase the range of motion slightly by supporting yourself on a bench or rack and allowing yourself to lean slightly in the direction of the shoulder that you're working. That's all for me, everyone. I hope you were able to learn something that you'll be able to apply in your future training. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more training content in the future. Happy training, everyone, and remember, Grab the bull by the tusks.